So let's come into a comfortable cross-legged position. The flesh of your buttocks back behind your sit bones. Rounding down into the sit bones. And I invite you to close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. Let's begin today by scanning the body. Just seeing if there are any places that are holding tension. And then breathing into those places and Seeing if on the exhale, we can let them go. Trying to soften the whole body. Letting the firmness of the bones hold us up and give us permission. To relax everywhere else. Maybe feeling the contrast between the bones, solid, stable, upright. And the muscles more fluid, soft, melting. And then in the softness of the belly, we can start to feel the breath. Lengthening the breath so that the belly expands fully with the in-breath. And continuing to relax everything with the out-breath. Deepening and lengthening the belly, e the breath even more so that it moves from the belly all the way up to the chest. And with the palms facing down on the legs, moving with the breath, begin to circle the body around. Inhaling across the front, looking up. Exhaling across the back, rounding the back, dropping the head. On the inhale, the chest extends out. Chin lifts, leaning all the way back into a rounded spine on the exhale. When you're ready, reverse directions. Coordinating with your breath.
And coming back to center. Sitting tall, sit bones firm, head lifted, breath deep and slow. Let's bring the hands to the ground behind us. Lean back into the hands. Lift the chest. If you can, if your neck is okay with it, drop your head back, otherwise drop it forward. As you press down into the hands, lift up through the chest, lift the back ribs toward the front ribs. Expanding the breath even more. Like you're opening from the inside out. And then rock, walk the hands around to the front and fold forward. Scan your body again and see if there's any place that can let go a little more. Work with your exhale, completing it all the way and seeing how much the letting go of the breath can show up in the letting go of the body. Check in with places like arms and hands, jaw, eyes, shoulders, buttocks, Exhale and let go. And roll yourself up. Reaching the arms up with an inhale. And bring the palms together, bend the elbows, bringing the thumbs to the upper back. Lifting up through the elbows. Sliding down the thumbs. Breathing up under those ribs, deep and strong. On your next inhale, palms come up again. Exhale them to the center of your chest. Feeling your breath. Releasing your hands. And noting the cross of the legs. Which leg is in front or on top and release the legs. Shake them out. Cross them again with the other leg in front. Pull the flesh of the buttocks back, ground into the sit bones. Sitting nice and tall. Connecting the breath with the spaciousness 
of your body and the ease of your body. And then wrap your hands around your shins or shin. And inhale, shoulders back, chest out, eyes up. Exhale, leaning back away from the hands, tucking the chin, rounding the back. Moving back and forth with breath, feeling the spine. On your next inhale, open the arms out to the sides. Exhale, clasp your hands behind your back. Notice which thumb is on the outside. Roll the shoulders back and in toward each other. Lift the hands as far away from the back as you can. Drop the chin to the chest. On your inhale, lift the chest to the chin. On the exhale, release the chin to the chest. This is all about the breath, this stretch. Just breathing deeply across the heart until you feel whatever tension is there being pushed open by the fullness of your inhale and then released with your exhale. See if you can lift the hands a little bit higher. And release the hands down, walk them forward and fold. Scanning the body once again. Where there's holding, letting go. Where there's tightness, Breathing into it. Walk the hands in, roll yourself up, reaching up, inhale. Exhale the hands to the heart. Hands release, legs release. Breath continues. Shake out the legs. Roll the feet around. And reverse.
And relax the feet, bend the knees and set the feet wide apart. And then drop the knees to the right. Inhale up and exhale left. The next time the knees come to the right, hold there. And then adjust your left leg so that the knee is straight down from the hip and the ankle is straight out from the knee. Good. And then you can stay like this or you can rest your right foot on top of your left knee You can stay like this, or you can lean back, maybe even coming down onto your elbows, dropping the head back. So you're almost like in a fish pose, opening the chest and lungs while stretching that thigh and hip. And those of you who can, Maybe walk all the way down onto your back. If you're on your back, that left arm can reach overhead. Angle the outer edge of the left foot in toward the right foot. Good. If your arm is overhead and you're on your back, bring your arm alongside of you. If you're on your back, you can stay on your back and we'll lift that left knee up, bringing the foot on the ground. If you are on your elbows, then come all the way up and you too will lift that knee up and bring the foot on the ground. We're gonna do two variations of the eye of the needle pose. So if you're upright, then you can bring your hands around your shin, or you can keep your hands behind you. I find that that helps me get a little bit more deep into the stretch. The idea if you're upright is to move your torso toward your left leg. And of course, if you're in the reclined version, the hands will be behind the back of that leg and that left foot will flex and you'll move the left foot toward the right foot. Either one is fine. It's the same stretch. And then let's release the right foot. And if you're lying down, lift yourself up. And then take the feet wide. Drop the knees to the left. And again, see how I have a right angle here? I'm not sure if the camera captures it, but the knee lines up with the hip and the ankle lines up with the knee. Even if the knee is up here, that's fine. You still wanna have that right angle just to keep the integrity of the joints, okay? And then you can leave that left foot where it is or you can bring it on top of the right leg 
if you feel that weight will assist you. And then you can just stay here and lift the chest. If you're able to come all the way back onto your elbows and lift the chest, do that. And if you're able to lay all the way down, then bring the right arm overhead. And then curl the outer edge of the right foot in toward the left foot. Fill the breath, belly, ribs, chest. Take your time. And then if you're using the left foot, release. No, sorry. Keep it there. If you're not using the left foot, put it on the right knee. And then we'll all lift the right knee, either staying on your back and clasping the hands behind the back of your leg, or if you're upright, moving the torso forward, pressing the hands back, or bringing them around. If you're in the upright version, forward is not rounding forward like this. It's as straight and tall through the spine as you can be. And then when you're coming forward, you wanna think about your back ribs moving toward that front thigh. Good. And then release the foot down. If you're on your back, bring yourself back up. We'll do one final deep hip stretch here, bringing the heels together, creating a square inside the legs, pulling the flesh of the buttocks back. Flex the feet. And again, we want right angles. That's what I mean when I say square. So you're not in a long diamond or a short diamond, but a square. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward. Relax the arms, drop the head. Take the area below the navel and above the pubic bone and draw it back toward your spine. Where do you feel the breath? Can you expand even more by breathing even more? Walk the hands over to the right. Press the right hand into the ground and see if you can feel the left sit bone sinking down. And then reach out long through the left hand. Notice the breath now where the expansion and the release is concentrated. Use your own inner wisdom to deepen the stretch in any way that you feel like you can. Let's 
Slowly breathe your way over to the other side. That left hand alongside of you, pushing into the ground, deepening the right sit bone into the earth. And then walking the right hand out long. Breathing into that length. Relax the head, relax the torso. Come center, breathing slow and steady, walking the hands in. Keep walking the hands until they're behind you. Lift the knees, plant the feet hip width apart. Spread the fingers wide and then rotate the hands on the ground away from each other. So the right hand will spin right and the left hand will spin left and the shoulder blades We'll tuck in towards the spine and then push into the hands, lift the hips, drop the head back, lift the tailbone, reach the knees forward. If you're not able to do this for any reason, just keep lifting the chest with the hips on the ground. Those of you who like to work harder, you can lift the left leg straight out, parallel to the ground. And then switch legs if you're in that variation. And then leg down, and then buttocks down. Hands around the knees. Let's bring the feet together, bring the knees together, bring the backs of the hands together. Then lean back a little bit keeping the backs of your hands together, dropping the chin. Using those knees to hold the palms. Good, and release, shake the hands out. Any way that feels good to you. Okay, release the hands. Cross the ankles to flip over the legs onto the hands and knees. Walk the hands a little bit in front of the shoulders, about a hand's length. Spread the fingers wide. Curl the toes, take a breath in. And then on an exhale, lift the knees, but keep them bent. Push forward through the hands, drop the head, and press the sit bones back. Pull the shoulders down the back. And then try to lay your ribs down toward your thighs. Press the left heel down and back, straighten the left leg, and then push stronger into the hands, pressing forward 
Feel that left hip moving back even more. Sinking toward the right thigh. Pressing into the left heel. And then switch legs. Again, pressing the hands forward in order to sink the heel down. Sending that right hip back, the ribs toward the left thigh. Slow, steady breath. Then straighten both legs, pull both shoulders down the back, press into all 10 fingers, thighs back, hips back, Spine long, heels pressing. Drop the ribs and head. Good, and then walk the feet up to the hands. With soft knees and chin to chest, roll yourself up to standing. Reaching up, inhale. Exhale the hands down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. One more. Standing in stillness, maybe closing the eyes to more easily feel what's happening inside. Feeling the feet on the ground, perhaps. Letting the body lift up tall away from the feet. Feeling the rise of the inhale, getting you taller. The release of the exhale, sinking you deeper. And then letting weight come into your left leg Feeling the way your body can line itself up over your left foot. Make those subtle micro movements until you really feel your alignment right over that foot. As soon as you're there, the upper body will not only feel more supported, but the foot will feel more grounded. And then once you're there, open the eyes softly, gazing at a point in front of you. Feeling your breath. And then slowly lift the right knee up, clasping the hands under the knee, drawing the knee in, pushing down into the standing leg, lifting tall through the spine like you're elongating your belly and back. And as you pull toward you with your hands, the shoulders roll back, the chest is open. As you exhale, the belly comes in and maybe the knee comes higher. And then with control, we're gonna slowly step that right foot all the way back, bending into the front knee. And bring the back heel onto the ground in the classic warrior stance. And then just bring your right hip forward and press your right thigh back. Feel that back foot firmly on the ground. Tuck the tailbone, 
Bring the arms up. Pull the shoulders down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, send the thumbs back even more. Bring the front knee forward even more. The tailbone under even more. The right hip forward even more. Feel both feet firmly on the ground. And lift the heart up away from the ground. Release the arms down. Straighten the front leg. Turn your belly to the right. Inhale the arms out to the side. Exhale, reach forward with that left hand. Keep reaching, reaching so that not just your right side is long, but your left waist is long as well. Press down into the feet, engage your thighs. Keep getting longer and longer and longer. And then ultimately release that left hand down, sliding it down. And then bringing the right arm straight up, looking up at your thumb. Unless your neck isn't happy that way. And then you can look straight down. Good. So if you can see me while you're in the pose, notice how my whole body is in one line. I'm not like this. Sure, I can get much further down if I do this, but to what end? What's the point of that other than feeling like, oh, aren't I a good yogi? I can touch the ground. I'm not in the pose. I'm not getting any stretch. I'm not getting any benefit. I'm not challenging myself. Coming up higher staying in one plane and then sliding down. Doesn't matter how far down you go, you go as far as your body goes. Who cares? It's about opening. It's not about achieving. Breathe and open. Exhale and relax. Good. And then we'll release that right arm down. Rotate everything. You might even rotate your back foot slightly so that your hips can square toward the front and release down. If your hands can happen to come to the ground, let them touch down. The idea though is to keep the front leg straight. So if your hands resting on your leg, that's fine. Try to fold forward as best as you can. Pulling back the left sit bone, scooping up the belly, dropping down the head. Breathing deep and letting go. If you want, you can flex that front foot. That might deepen the stretch for you. Probably if your hands are not on the ground, that will severely challenge your balance. So just see what's gonna work for you today. And then if the toes lifted, bring them back down, bend that front knee, Walk the hands a little forward and step up. One foot alongside the other. Knees bent. Roll yourself up. Reaching up. Inhale. Exhale down. Two more.
Maybe taking a moment with the eyes closed. Feeling your connection to the ground and your connection to life by feeling the breath. Shifting weight over that right foot so that you're not more on your heel or more on your toes, more on the inside or the outside, but squarely right in the center of the foot. Feeling the breath and not losing the breath as you softly open the eyes. So even though there's an outer gaze, there's an inner focus. And when you're ready, lift the left knee up, hands clasp over the bottom of the knee, and pull it up toward the shoulder. Pull the shoulders back and down, chest out, standing leg really working. Pushing down into the leg, lifting through the head. Feeling the breath. Then with control, release the hands. And the front knee and step the left leg all the way back. Bring the heel to the ground. And then bring that left hip forward like the hip is aiming for the right knee. And then press the left thigh back and sink the back heel down. Bring the arms up and the shoulders down. Pushing down into the feet, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Send the shoulders back, send the thumbs back. Send the tailbone forward, the front knee forward, the back leg back, the feet down. The breath up. Maybe sinking into the exhale. Weight is even in the feet. And release the arms down. Straighten the leg. And turn to face left. Maybe moving that back foot a little bit. Belly is facing completely left, arms out to the side, inhale. Exhale, reach forward and hold there. Push into the feet and reach a little more. Feel the sides lengthening, the breath lengthening. And when you're ready, release the hand down and bring the left hand up. Look up at your thumb or look down at your toe. Keep the torso in line with the leg. Press into the feet and inhale the spine long. Exhale, slide it down. And bring the left hand down. Maybe rotate the back foot a little bit so you can more face forward with the hips. Really bring that left hip forward. And then relax down over your leg. If you can, straighten your front leg. My knee is bent a little bit because I'm still nursing that hamstring injury, but maybe Feeling like bending the knee is going to get you lower 
But again, just like in the triangle pose before, lower is not better. Being higher but having a straight leg is going to give you more of the stretch we're looking for. Relaxing down through the head and the torso. If the hands are on the ground, notice if the hands are heavy on the ground. If they are, you're probably holding yourself up a little bit with your hands. And you want to be able to just rest your hands and sink yourself down. A few more deep breaths flowing through the body. Right hip back, left hip forward. Okay, walk the hands forward, bending into the front knee, step the back knee up. Good. And then bend the knees deeply, sitting all the way down toward your heels. And then just take the hands forward, drop the head, and then try to lower your heels, lower your sit bones, just stretching long across the back. Head down. A few deep breaths into the back body. And then bring the hands behind you to lower your sit bones down. And then come all the way onto your back. Keep your feet hip width apart under your knees. Toes pointing straight ahead. Arms alongside the body. Roll the shoulder blades in so that it feels like you're on the very backs of your shoulders on the ground. And then press into your feet, lift your hips, and then interlace your fingers. If you don't remember how you did it in the beginning of class, then just do it whichever way feels less natural. The opposite thumb on the outside that you normally would. And then push down into your arms, lift through your ribs and hips and chest. Push forward through your feet, lift your buttock even more. Aim your tailbone for the backs of your knees. Keep lifting the back ribs toward the sky. And release down. Lift your feet and place your hands against your thighs. And then push your hands into your thighs and your thighs into your hands. Press your low back into the ground. Good. Keep your legs here and just open your arms out like a T. And drop your knees to the left. Turn your head to the right. Relax the right shoulder. Relax the feet and legs. Let your left hip bone sink into the ground. 
and then peel your twist away from that hip bone. And then lift the knees, bring them over to the other side. Turn your head to the left. Relax the left shoulder. Relax the whole body. And then come center, hug the knees into the chest, take a breath in, and then exhale, lift the forehead to the knees, squeezing in tight, release all the air out and hold the air out as long as you can. When you need to inhale, release your head back down. Release your hands and feet. Lift and tuck the tailbone. Release the legs. Shake the legs out. And rest the arms out to the sides. Close the eyes. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Releasing the weight of the body into the ground. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth, releasing the jaw. The lips slightly part, the eyes relax. Inhale, deep. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the activity of the mind. Letting go of before. Letting go of after, just being in now. We use the breath to anchor us to now. And we'll let go of the breath as well, so that there's no effort. Now is just as it is. Nothing to fix or control. Just letting things be as they are. Resting awareness in the nowness of the breath. As soon as you notice your mind has wandered, just bring it back again. No problem. The minute that you've noticed, you're back in the moment. So we can celebrate that and return to the breath. Deeply relax. Letting go, letting go, letting go.
Breathe into your heart. Pull fingers and toes. Reach the arms overhead. Take a deep breath. Stretch long. Put the knees into the chest and rock from side to side, feeling the ground massaging your back. And then come center, hand to hand and foot to foot, waking up the body again. Roll over to either side, resting your head on your underside arm, resting your body on the ground, feeling held, supported. Noticing the space in your body, the ease in your body where there may still be tension. That's okay, little by little. And then slowly bring yourself up to sitting. Grounding down through the sit bones, lifting tall through the crown of the head. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale the hands together at the heart. Inhale the heart up to the hands. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale deeply, breathing in from bottom to top. Take it all in. Let it all go. the chin to the chest. Namaste. Thank you.